Welcome back to another video here on Freewheel Photos. Today, I'm gonna use the color mixer filter. This isn't a filter that I use too often to make any sort of edit, but I think that for this type of image, it really holds true and helps us get some details out of these rocks. What we're gonna do is go over to the effects pane or module, click add filter, and we're gonna add the channel mixer. Now, I don't know of too many applications for this particular tool, but we're gonna use it today by clicking on the black and white infrared. What this does is it brings out a lot of that light detail in the rocks. But where this is really going to help us is by coming to the blending options and changing this to overlay and you can see instantly it really starts to bring out that detail if this is what you were going for then you could absolutely stop right here but you can go a little bit further with editing this so the next thing that you can add is a dynamic contrast and to me this over bakes that look so you may want to pull down on the opacity or tweak the dynamic contrast sliders here so that way you don't get a very crunchy detail. Now, one of the things that I did want to do is bring up the shadow area over here. And because I've been using the curves filter a lot recently in my own personal edits, I think that I'm just going to use that here. So the way that I'm going to do it is I'm going to just add in a little bit of light because I don't need a whole bunch of light in there. And I'm going to come to my blending options. And I like to look at screen and sometimes even uh, coming down to soft light. But I think this time screen is going to do the best for what I want to do. Well, right now that doesn't look very good. So I'm going to invert that. And with my brush selected and a very light opacity, I'm at 66. You could go lighter if you wanted to. And I'm going to go with a fairly decent sized brush. And I'm just going to make a pass over this. And you can see it like opens up the light in that area. That may be too much in the way that I really tailor this in is by pulling down the, on the opacity until I get to a point that I like. Now, one of the other ways that you could do this is you can start with the opacity all the way down and then kind of like turning on a dimmer light, just pull up on your opacity until you get to a point where you like it. This is all subjective. Turning it off and on, you can see what difference it makes in that area. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, smash the like button. And if you're looking to pick up on one photo raw so you can do this exact same edit, check the link in the description box below. And you can also save 20% on the standalone version if you use the code freewillphotos20. Until next time, I want you to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.